let's consider some basic accounting concepts. The first one to look at is assets. All businesses have assets and here are a list of a variety of common business assets. Printer, cash in the bank, carpets, shelving, stock that is sold to customers, curtains, forklift, computer, fax, furniture, term deposits, that's where money is allocated into high interest accounts, truck, premises, debtors, that's individuals or businesses that owe this particular business money and there's lots of other possible examples of assets. Here is a definition. Assets are resources under the control of the business which will provide future economic benefits. Assets are reported in the balance sheet. This is one of the major accounting reports and we'll learn a lot more about balance sheets as time progresses. At the moment we have a business called Annie the Architect. She provides architectural advice to customers. The name of the report balance sheet is on the top and the date of the balance sheet is also given. And then the assets are listed in no particular order at the moment. So this business has at the 30th of June 2022 $20,000 cash, stock of 1000 Computer 5,000, furniture 12,000, vehicle 35,000, premises 154,000. The total assets in this business on this date, $227,000. What are these assets? These are resources under the control of the business which will provide future economic benefits to this person or this business, any the architect. More about balance sheets in a moment. The next term we want to look at is equities. Equities is a term that refers to who. Who has an interest or ownership in the assets of the business? Consider the following example. We've seen the assets on the left hand side of the balance sheet adding up to $227,000. On the right hand side of the balance sheet we have this term equities. And this term is referring to who has an interest or ownership in the assets of the business. Now in our example here, that equity is solely in the hands of the owner, Annie. Annie has 100% ownership in the assets of the business. We know that because her equity, the owner's equity, $227,000, is the same value as the assets, $227,000. All of the equity, all of the ownership, all of the interest in the assets is held by the owner, Annie. This word capital is often used to express owner's equity. In this business, assets, $227,000, equals equities, $227,000, and that equity is 100% controlled by Annie the owner. She has full ownership or interest in the assets of this particular business at this point in time. However, think about your home. Who has equity in your home? Now, if there is no loan or mortgage on your home, a mortgage is a type of loan, so if there's no loan or no mortgage on your home, Your parents have 100% equity in your home, which is obviously a valuable asset. So think about your home. If your parents do not have a loan, do not have a mortgage, they have 100% equity in your home. We'll look at the situation when that's not the case in a moment. The next term we want to talk about is liabilities. Liabilities. Let's consider the following example. We still have the same assets on the left hand side here, $227,000, but the equity side now shows a liability of $10,000 to AMP. What this means is that the business has borrowed $10,000 cash and it now has a liability. It has to repay that $10,000 to AMP at some future date. So this future obligation is called a liability. Come back and see video number two.